21,273. The seating capacity and the attendance every night. This is Montreal, home of the Canadians, opening face-off just seconds away. Hi, everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, original six teams. They go back to 1942, and they're connected by rail, and they all traveled that way at one point. There's a lot of magic about that time. What do you think? Uh, passionate. The passionate fan base of the original six franchises, Doc, and also the sweaters. How great are the sweaters of the original six teams? Let's look at the starting netminders. Price has gotten the call for the Canadians. Notice the save percentage. It's often a barometer. It can be up and down. This one's fine. Crawford's the last line of defense for the Blackhawks. The trouble with an out-of-balance winning percentage like this one is you get a victory and it doesn't look like it helps much, but it does a little. We have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. We have just begun with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Rinkside we go now, and here is Ray Ferraro. Guys, the original six teams still have a pull, even to the players that are born so recently and they're 18 or 19 years old. You play a Chicago or a Boston or a New York Rangers or a Toronto or a Montreal, and there's just an extra pop to the game. There's something special about playing the original six. Long lead pass to Galchenyuk. And gathered in by Jonathan Taves. Wrist shot grabbed. A cover and play is stopped. As soon as this turnover was made, the coach was yelling up and down the bench, be safe with the puck, it's got to go deep. They're bailed out here. Good clean win. Pointed to Oduya, to Versteeg. Point to point, it goes to Oduya. Slid to Sharp. Keeps it going behind the goalie. A oh, good chance here. He's got a, a lightning light glove. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Montreal's goaltending has been solid all year. When you look back at that last huge save, you know why. Chicago's quick on the draw to Roosevelt, to Shaw. Back near the blue line to Roosevelt, to Saw. Good position in the slot. Look at this. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. And oh, what a terrific save in close. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Huge open ice hit. When you have the puck there, you're a marked man. Point to point pass from the left wing. Tape to tape to center. He's got that centering pass off his pad. Outletted to Taves. Ripped along to Shaw. A shot and a save. Carried behind by Markov. Muscled long to Galchenyuk. Saucer to Prust. Pink drive. Wide! Wonderful chance! That shot cannot miss that. Give me that chance. I'll take it to Morris. That covers some acreage to Prust. Let's it go. Missed it wide. Last minute of play in the first period. Ahead on that left wing to Kane. To Zebra. And offside is called on the play. Montreal's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. The Canadians control from the neutral zone. Moves up along the boards. Shoots. Routine save. You're not going to beat him from there with that shot. 
That's the end of the first period, a period that only a goalie can like. Nothing, nothing. And we turn to the shots on goal in the first. Three for the Canadians and three for the Blackhawks. The game is scoreless, but it is not hitless. Let's see if it changes next period. But for now, intermission is here. At the first, what impressed you most? Chicago's dominating the time of possession, which is a great stat stuffer. But if you don't convert any of these opportunities, it doesn't matter. Score a goal. We start the second the way we began the first. Nothing, nothing. Picks it up in his own end. Tohosa. Pass. To Parento. Takes it up near the boards. Puck taken behind the net by Keith. Puck out in front. Score! Thought the goalies were going to be perfect. They were till now. Chicago's got caught chasing their tail after they turned the puck over in the defensive zone. That leads directly to the goal. Just over four minutes have gone by in the second. The Canadians ahead, 1-0. Montreal's collected another victory on the faceoff. Lofted in by Placantis. Closed off and sealed on the boards. Charged up the wing by Odilla. Gets in. What'll he do? Time of the goal. Heads on to the corner. And he is reefed. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Corralled by Jalmerson. Same side to Sharp. Good centering pass to the slot. Save. Oh, what a hit there. One thing. Marvelous save. No time on that one. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. No shadow of the boards here. Grabbed off by Jalmerson. Up the wing to Versteeg. And play stopped because of an offside. The shot's delivered quickly, but he smothers the bottom of the net so well, gets his legs out to make the stop. Chicago's got another face-off win. Onside. Offensive zone pickup by Hosa. Back in his defensive end to get it. Good distance on that one to Pacioretty. Pope checked away by Duncan Keith. Chip to Galchenyuk. He got in. Fires. Acrobatic stop by Crawford. He made it look easy. What a stop. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Got it all. And he holds on. Oh, guys, this is really sloppy puck work. The goalie has to make a save after they should be out of the zone already. Quick work on the faceoff. Slides it to the point to Roosevelt. Frost's got this one between the blue lines. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. the face off he ties his man up and so the puck goes to his team deflected off the blocker he's into the slot just why you keep going to that area you're gonna get lots of those chances unfortunately he missed the net two periods down one period to go the bumpy ride to the finish is next
If we check out the shots on goal through those two periods, seven for Chicago and five for Montreal. And this goal has put us where we are right now in a one goal contest as we had to break. Opening face-off of the third period has started it. Can he generate something? He drives toward the slot. Taken to the corner by Pacioretty. Out in front. Keith cut through the neutral zone. Hammer cut his glove on it. And it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew. Rinkside, here's Ray Ferrari. Emelin's laid the body on all over the place tonight. He's been like a one-man wrecking crew. Montreal's got a face-off win. Held behind his net by Morris. Blue line control, and he slides it through mid-ice. That play went offside. Hosa's scoreless streaks reaching epic proportions here, and you can see it on his face. He's wearing this donut really heavily. He doesn't feel like he's been contributing to his team because nothing gets on the board. Chicago's got that one. Up the wing. Laid on to Saw. A shot, save. To Eller. Angled to Borg. On through the corner. On to Prust. Right on his stick on the centering pass. Hit the post with the shot. Outstanding point blank save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Long lead pass to Shaw. Started from his own end by Markov. And he takes it through center ice. Gets in, looks over his options here. Takes that pass that was just slipped ahead to him. It's an onside play. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. He dodges sticks and pucks all afternoon and evening. And here he is again. Flawless so far, Ray Ferraro. I've seen a lot of great goaltending performances. I don't know that I've seen many better than this. A spectacular performance for him, Ray. Eddie and I have talked in the intermission about how we can think of at least three or four that are going to wind up on a highlight reel. Just a bit over four minutes remaining in the period. Montreal's up in this game, 1-0. Score! And this one is tied! Hosa's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. And so from that position, the glove side is your target area, but the goaltender should know that. He just can't catch it. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. To Parento. Terrific hit that time. It's just one of a pile he's had today. To Hosa. Hosa's looking for another one after he tied up the score. Receives that pass from the other side. Parked in the slot that's on his stick. A lightning like glove save. And he'll hold on.
The Canadians with a face-off win to Parento. Nearing the end of regulation, and some of the fans are standing here. Wonderful centering pass, and it's right to him. Propelled to Galchenyuk. Carries it up the side. Puck corralled behind the net by Keats. Cut through the neutral zone. The battle for the puck, and he can't get free. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. Moves up the side with it now. Back in front. He's in on goal. Slid to Gallagher. Through center to Setaguchi. The game is knotted up as we're headed to overtime. Here's a look at the shots on goal through 60 minutes, and our game still undecided. 13 for Chicago and 6 for the Canadians. Coming up next is overtime. This is the one that has forced OT as we head to break. overtime or do you like shootouts you might get your wish on one you definitely do on the other because we're underway in OT moved along and in chip to Taves geometrically to Zebra good attempt easy save Seabrook's been a clutch performer for his team for the last couple of weeks. His point streak has stretched on longer than most people thought it would, and it has no end in sight. The Hawks win that faceoff. Pointed to Seabrook. He's through. Heads along the boards. Stretches it out by throwing it to the opposite corner. Takes it behind his own cage. Moved up the side by Taves. Perfect receipt of the pass. Back in front. Laid on to Zebra. Gaining space, maybe time. Price decided to cover. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the rink. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Grabbed out of the corner by Placanitz to Subban. To Markov. Paddled aside. He's into the slot. Wrist shot. Oh, stick save. To Richards. To Hosa. Let's go, Rister. Terrific glove save. And he'll cover. Final minute of play of overtime. Who's the hero? To Markov. Near the boards. Puck gotten behind the net by Letty. Back near the blue line to Markov. It's off his pad. Right from the slot. Outstanding save with a glove. That covers some acreage to Taves. Right in front. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Seems like he was in too tight on a goaltender. Taken back deep in his own end of the ice by Seabrook. 
On to Richards. Propelled to Jalmerson. Wires one up the gut to Kane. Picked up in the attacking zone. In on goal and easily handled. Beat him on that one. Shoot. A big save late has kept this game close. Back with more in just a moment. Night, but nothing settled yet, so we go to a shootout. He saved the goal, and he saved his team. To the bottom of the first. And here is the first shooter. He makes the save. Uncharacteristically easy. The shootout is even as we begin another round. Who will show the pressure first? No! What happened there? on ice. Will these be hands of cement? Wonderful save! The goalies have dominated. Will it change? He turns it away. There wasn't much of a challenge there. Goalies have control, too. A save. We continue. Score! The shootout is over. Horn sounds game over. The Canadians get the victory in this one, though it took a shootout to do it. They have the players in the skills competition to get the win. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.